What's up gamers, welcome back to yet another diecast review. This one is Ross Chastain's 2023 Phoenix Race Win uh, with Worldwide Express. And this one is currently his last win to date. So, that's great. Uh, as if he should have won more races this year already. But here we are. Track house blowing buns this year. Who thought that was going to happen, huh? Wow. Anyway, I'm, I've talked about it so many times in every other Ross opening. But once again, we're back with Ch Race Win Car. This is, like I said, his Phoenix win. Uh, no confetti on this one, unfortunately. Uh, as you see, 504 of these were made. This is your typical 2023 race win box. Uh, with the race win box on uh, there. Then you have the render of the car and the team logo there. You have the tr this crap back here. And then you have this with the 75th anniversary. And then back to the side of the box. Where now... We're going to get this sucker out and out of the base once we're ready. Uh, I could consider this an unboxing, but it's not really that much of an unboxing anyway. Okay. Because I did more unboxing in the other one. Oh, whoops. I just almost lost the win card. Um, not the card, the freaking sticker. <laughs> All right. So, before we get it off the base, let's do this first. Uh, Ross Chastain, season finale, 500 winner. Ross was the first driver to win the season finale without winning the championship, which probably would have happened if things went different at the Roval and Talladega. But uh, here's the back if you want to read that. And every every day I think of how different Talladega and the Roval could have been, and this could be his championship winning car right here. But, uh, once again, let me show you the sticker. I showed you for like two seconds, and then I put it back. Anyway, let me get it off the base, and we'll talk more about this diecast in just a moment. All right, so I've gotten the car off the base, and now we're free to talk about this car. Chastain in this race at Phoenix was... Battling the heads off of Ryan Blaney. And that was very fun to watch. Also fun to watch Blaney get pissed off about it. Uh, me and I'll cry baby about Larson behind him. Wow, cool. Just hold him off. And he did exactly that. So I don't understand why he was mad. That he couldn't pass the one car for the lead. It's like, buddy, you don't even need to win. You just need to win the championship. Um... You just need to keep Larson behind you. That's all you need to do. You don't even need to worry about Ross. Ross is just here to win. Anyway, uh, as you see, the 75 logo on the wheels, that is a special thing they did at Phoenix this year, last year, where they did that for the last race of the 75th anniversary. So, and don't worry, we'll be doing more of that because this is not the only race version Phoenix car I've gotten. Anyway, this is a really nice car. I never remember the windshield like this, but it's probably probably how it was. I don't I don't understand why it would be looking like that. I don't know. It's maybe it's a short track thing or whether windshield is supposed to look like that or is it something that I don't know. <laughs> Once again, no confetti on this. Din 336 right there. This is literally the same exact scheme he won Nashville with as well. Which is also kind of frustrating because I wanted to see a different scheme in Victory Lane for once for Ross. And we've yet to see it this year. So I'm hoping something changes out of that. Um, anyway, this is a really nice, really nice car. Unfortunately, not a lot of race damage, but that's all right. I just, I need more Ross wins because I've... Passed up on the Coda and the Talladega win in 2022, so that's a little bit painful. But I have his wins of 2023, and that's all I can say. 
I also have his truck win from Darlington earlier this year. Can he just win a cup race, please? That's all I ask for. <laughs> anyway, let's go over the logos and everything on this car. I've literally done this like four times now, I think. Uh, Goodyear logo right there. You have the NASCAR Cup Series logo and the 75th anniversary logo there. You have the one car with the chrome outline. Uh, then you have Worldwide Express Shipping and Logistics Supercharged. Then you have Jockey. Then you have Advent Health Kubota. Advent Health is no longer with Ross. Uh, once again, <laughs> Ross has stay on the name right with the rose as well. You have the Race to Win sticker from Nashville. And then he added it. Well, could you say added it? Because it was the last race of the season. <laughs> um, and then over here you have Chevrolet, Moose Eternity, Advent Health. Simons and beamoose.org. Uh, then you have to get bioethanol. I did not say that in the last video, did I? Whoops. <laughs> anyway, that's there. And then back here, you have Quaker State, www.racing.com. Let me put it more in the light here. Okay. www.racing.com. You have shipping logistics, supercharged. Then you have ZL1 and Camaro. And then you have the one in the black. On the deck lid, you have Worldwide Express Global Trans and Unishippers there on the deck lid. And then you have, once again, DIN number 366 out of uh, 504, I believe. Yep, 504. On the other side, pretty much the same stuff. You have Advent Health, Kubota, Worldwide Express, Shipping Logistics, Supercharged, Jockey, Beamoose.org, Simons, uh, then you have the winner sticker and Ross Chastain with the rose. Uh, on the name rally, you have Chevrolet, Moose, Fraternity, Advent Health. And then you have the one with the chrome outline, NASCAR Cup Series logo there, and the 75th anniversary as well, and the Goodyear above the tires with the 75th anniversary logo on them. <laughs> well, not the logo, but the, the, the NASCAR logo and the 75 on it as well. On the hood, you have WWX Racing, which is now WWEX Group. Don't know why. Don't ask. Anyway, uh, World Express right here. Global Trans Union Shippers. WWEXRacing.com once again. Then you have the one, then Trackhouse logo, and the Chevrolet as well. On the roof, you have the one and Worldwide Express as well. And, yeah, like I said, Ross really led a lot of this race uh, because he was battling his lights off with Ryan, Ryan Blaney. And Blaney obviously was mad, like I said, um, that he was getting raced <laughs> by a guy going for the win. God forbid you get passed by the guy that's not even fighting for the championship and... Trying to go for the championship, you just get, you try and battle the leader while you're worrying about the other guy behind you, that is also going for the championship. <laughs> just let the guy go for the win. It's all, it's all he really cares about. The other thing we should check on here is the damage. You have the, I would assume this is from Blaney right here. Uh, then you have tire wear on here as well, which is also a really cool factor on this car. With the tire wear and everything. On the lettering and stuff. Uh, then back here, there's nothing on the bumper, I'm surprising. <laughs> Considering he was with Blaney. Um, not much other than just a little bit of dust on this side. Um, and then some rubber buildup over here. Well, dirt buildup kind of on the hood. And some of them... On the uh, front end as well. You can't really see much with this black. Black part here. Unfortunate. Chastain this year has not won a race. Uh, up to this point in the video. Um, hopefully that changes in the future. Uh, God forbid someone sees this video. And next week Ross. Or not next week. Next three weeks. Because we're on an Olympic break. God forbid at Richmond he wins. And then. Someone just sees this video, it's like, oh, he won. Honestly, I really do hope something changes. Uh, I just saw on Twitter, Legacy Motorsports fired Jason Burdett. Can you please go to Ross's crew and switch him out with Phil Surgeon? Because, good lord, 
He needs some help at the pit box too. Not even just speed alone. He needs help at the pit box because Phil Surgeon is probably one of the worst crew chiefs he's ever had in his career. Because he said he's made some of the worst calls I've ever seen, and and yet he still has a job in track house racing. He's not gonna win every race, but it would be nice to just win one at this point, <laughs> which he has in the trucks, but he has not done it in Cup. And we need that to happen in any other scheme except this, because I've only gotten the race win schemes of this. And I also have the primary, just to sum it up. And I did not get the primary this year, just in case he wins again in the WWX racing or not the uh, racing with the group and the moose car. He almost won in the moose car at freaking Indianapolis, believe it or not. Other than that, that was this diecast review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Smash like button if you've enjoyed this one. Subscribe and turn on notification bells so you don't miss another upload. Uh, especially with like diecast reviews because I just bought another one the other... What was it? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. On eBay. It's another eBay buy. It's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to you guys see it. It'll be interesting to see when I upload that. And until then... See you all gamers next time. Have a great day, gamers.